day here at 2012 Scandia Sail for Gold. Zach, we just got off the water. Can you tell us your pre-race plan going into the start? Yeah, going into the, the start for the race, we thought that the left side was going to be the favorite side in the race course. Um, the line was pretty square, not not one side was, was favorite, so we wanted to win the pin and then leave the fleet left and uh, was able to execute that really well in the first beat. Yeah, that seemed to go off without a hitch. You rounded pretty high in the fleet, I think third. And uh, tell us what happened after that. Yeah, I was in uh, I was in third and uh, looking to to have third place in the regatta secured and um, the sailor that I needed to be rounded in, in tenth actually the weather mark. It was a, a big change in pressure on the first downwind. Unfortunately, I was on the wrong side of it. Uh, he actually ended up going from from tenth to third in the race uh, very quickly and. No, that's just, just part of sailboat racing. You know, I, I thought that the uh, you know looking downwind, the the right hand side of the downwind, left hand side of the race course, just just like it worked on the first upwind, uh, you know would be favored on the downwind, and you know there was, there was a big shift to the right, and I was in about you know eight to eight to ten knots, and the other side of the race course was in you know sixteen to nineteen knots, and I just lost a lot of distance. So. Now this race took place on the inside course, inside the breakwater, whereas most of your races took place outside in the bay. Is it much harder to judge the conditions in here than outside? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. I mean, they, um, you know, races outside and then inside on the harbor course, so the wind really drops in and, and uh, it's very sporadic across the race course and, and very hard to predict where it's at. And, um, you know, I just made a wrong call on the downwind there and we'll learn from it and, and uh, put it into our book to, to remember it for the games. Speaking of the games, we're in our final stretch here, just a few weeks left. How are you going to fill your time between now and then to make sure you're ready to go? Uh, we're just going to keep doing the same thing you know, that we're doing. We, we've had a plan laid out for four years and you know, we're at the end of that plan now. Uh, we're going to go back right now and take a little bit of time out of the boat, about you know, eight or nine days, and then we come back here to Weymouth and uh, we'll spend another two weeks here training uh, just before we, we head back home for a little bit and then, and then come back for the Olympics. So. And we're on the home stretch. We feel really good about where we're at. Um, you know, I sailed really well this week. It was a windy week, and um, you know, I feel really good about my boat speed and the, the things that we've worked on and the corrections we've made. And you know, I think I'm going to be a serious contender in, in a little under a month and a half. Congratulations on a strong performance. Good luck. Thank you.